Okay, so let's see if you have the math skills to figure out how to solve this simple math word problem, which is the following. Ann walks 45 minutes at an average speed of three miles per hour. How many miles did she walk? Okay, so this is the problem, but we do have a multiple choice question, and all these numbers are in miles. So A is 1.5, B is 2.25, C is 2.75, and D is 3.0. All right, now feel free to use a calculator, but if you have an answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly tell you who I am. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you want a nice, easy to understand way to learn math, well, then check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. All right, now before we show you the answer, let's take another look at the problem. So Ann walks 45 minutes at an average speed of three miles per hour. So going this speed for this long, how many miles did she walk? All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. The correct answer is B which is 2.25 miles. Okay, now, if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face and an A+. Plus, and if you're like, uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I'm confused. Can you teach me how to solve this problem? Well, I definitely can. Matter of fact, I'm going to throw you, uh, show you excuse me, three approaches to uh, be able to solve this problem. But uh, before we get into the solution, let's just take a look at this problem uh, in terms of the big picture. We are dealing with a math word problem and we have a multiple choice question. So if you're like, I don't know how to, you know, I don't know how to answer this question for those of you that still have to take math tests, what should you do? Well, just take a guess, right? But there's one answer here that I think uh, hopefully most of you uh, can see that we can eliminate, right? So if you don't even know how to answer the problem, hopefully you see that D is for sure uh, cannot be the correct answer answer, right? So that was really bad English, but basically this is um, an obvious uh, wrong answer. Now, why is that the case? Well, if Anne is going three miles per hour, right? So she's walking three miles per hour. So what does that mean? Well, it means in one hour, she's going to cover three miles, all right? So this is her speed. She's going three miles per hour, but she's walking less time then one hour. She's walking like 45 minutes. So there's no way she could cover three miles in under one hour if her speed is three miles per hour. So she can't go three miles per hour. And you can use that same logic to uh, kind of uh, eliminate A as well, 1.5. So that may not be as obvious, but uh, probably most of you out there, if you were going to take a guess, uh, B and C would be two good guesses. But uh, what we want to do here is use math to really figure out what the right answer is. So that means we have to think about solving a math word problem. So I'm gonna suggest you always use something called the rule of three. Now this is my rule and that is read the problem at least three times before you start to do anything. Even if you understand the problem, you know, let your brain kind of kick in and think about how you want to approach the solution, all right? So we have some options here and of course you need to understand the question. All right, so Anne is walking 45 minutes at an average speed of three miles per hour. How many miles did she walk? Okay, so I'm gonna basically show you three ways to answer this uh, problem. Now we can model this in different ways, but basically uh, I'm gonna kind of break it up this way. So there's three approaches that someone could take. There's actually probably more approaches, but I'm gonna show you three different ways that you can solve this problem. So the first is through kind of like a common sense approach. I'll show you this in just one second. The second thing that we can do is set up a proportion to solve um, uh, this particular problem. And the last thing we can do is use a formula to solve this problem. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this common sense approach. And now this is maybe, you know, common sense or maybe a logical approach. So Anne walks three miles, uh, She's walking three miles per hour, excuse me. Okay, that's what I want to say. So Ann walks three miles per hour. So every hour, she's going to go three miles. That's what three miles per hour means. Now, this is what we call a rate in math. So three miles per hour 
means three miles per every one hour, right? So we don't like to write it this way. We just write miles per hour. The fraction bar is that word per, miles per hour. Okay, so let's just kind of keep that in mind because we want to think about how many miles she's going to go in 45 minutes, okay? So maybe someone can kind of reason through. And again, uh, you're allowed to use your calculator here. So in three miles, she's uh, in one hour, she's going to go three miles. Okay, so I think pretty much everyone uh, understands that. That's what three miles per hour means. So if we cut that uh, one hour, if we divide that in two, that's what 30 minutes. Okay, I think most people know that uh, one half of an hour is a half hour, right, or 30 minutes. So in 30 minutes, she's going to go 1.5 miles. Okay, so if she goes three miles in one hour, if we divide uh, the hours and the distance by two, that means that in 30 minutes, she's going to go 1.5 miles. Okay, so that's how, um, uh, that's the distance she's gonna go in 30 minutes, but we're trying to figure out how far she's going to go in 45 minutes. Well, we can kind of uh, take that 30 minutes and divide it by two, because 30 divided by two is 15 minutes. Now, the advantage of doing that is that 30 and 15 is 45 minutes. So if we take that 1.5 miles and divide it by two, that's three quarters of a mile or 0.75 miles. So that means in 15 minutes, she'll go 0.75 miles. In 30 minutes, she goes 1.5 miles. So in 45 minutes, she'll go 1.5 plus the 0.75 miles, which is 2.25 miles. Okay, so that's one way to kind of reason through to figure this out. So if you took this approach or if you like this approach, well, that is fantastic. But it's important that you know all the different ways that you can solve this problem. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at another approach, and that is using a proportion. Okay, so here is um, her speed, three miles per hour, right? So that, again, this is a rate in math, three miles per hour. It means three miles per every one hour. So we're going to set up a, a, a proportion, excuse me, which means uh, a proportion of math means two equal fractions. So before I show you all of this, let's take a look at a simple proportion. So let's say one half. Now, can you think of a fraction that is equal in value to one half that's different than one half? Well, how about like five over 10, right? So we have an infinite amount of fractions. So these two fractions, okay, we have two equal fractions. They look different, but they are the same in value. Now, this situation in math is called a proportion. So two equal fractions in math is a proportion. And uh, the thing about a proportion, which is awesome, is that we have a property that's called the cross product, okay? So when you have a valid proportion, i.e. two equal fractions, if we cross multiply like this, one times 10, that's 10, and that's equal to the product, the cross product of these two numbers, which is two times five, which is 10, right? So when you have a proportion, you can use the cross product to solve all kinds of various proportion problems. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, set up a proportion right now. So she's walking three miles per every one hour, right? So this is one fraction. So we wanna figure out how many miles will she walk in 45 minutes? It's going to, at that rate, or uh, how fast or how um, many miles she covers in 45 minutes is in proportion to her walking three miles for every one hour. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. So here is a simple proportion. So we're gonna be solving for X. Now, the one thing to uh, notice about a proportion is that we need to have the same units of measure in the numerator and denominator. So in other words, over here, we have miles in the numerator. So we have to have the miles in the numerator in this fraction. Then of course we have hours down here, but we have the minutes right here, all right? So this is a problem. So we have hours here and minutes here. So we can fix this up by either uh, converting our hours to minutes or this minutes to hours. Either way will be fine. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so I think the simplest thing to do here is just to write one hour as 60 minutes. So now we have the same units of measure. Okay, so now we have a proportion. We have minutes, minutes, miles, miles. So now we can just simply use the cross product to solve. So X times 60, so we can kind of drop the units of measure here. So X times 60, algebraically that's 60 X, and then three times 45 will be three times 45. Okay, so let's go ahead and solve this equation for X. So three times 45 is 135. So 60X is equal to 135. So to solve for X, all we have to do is divide both sides of the equation by 60. 
135 divided by 60 is 2.25. Okay, so that's what X is equal to. And remember, X was uh, the amount of miles she will go in 45 minutes. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this last way to solve this problem. But uh, before we do, let's take a look at this. And that is an invitation to support this YouTube channel. Now, my goal is to really try to teach math in a clear and understandable and interesting way. All right, so that's why I post these videos. But uh, I really want to reach as many people as possible. Okay, so anyone that can benefit from my instruction, I am trying to connect with. And the only way I can do that is to get people like yourself to support this channel. And all you have to do is simply to hit that subscribe button. And if you're going to do that, hit that bell notification as well. Now, if you really want to learn math from me, check out my full main math courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. But let's go ahead and take a look at this last way to solve this problem. And that is using this formula right here. All right, now this is a formula, a formula excuse me, that you definitely want to remember. Okay, so anytime you are dealing with rate, speed, time, distance problems, this formula needs to come to mind. So it's R times T is equal to D or rate times time is equal to distance, right? You gotta remember this formula. This comes up over and over again, not only in math, but in science as well, you know, courses like physics. Okay, so rate is what? Well, this is like speed, right? So miles per hour, meters per second. Time is obviously in units of like hours, minutes, seconds, and then distance is in units of what? Like miles, meters, feet, et cetera, et cetera. So rate times time is equal to distance. Now the key thing to using this formula is that we have to have we have to have the correct units of measure. So for example, if our rate, our speed is in miles per hour, miles per hour is what? Well, we're talking about miles in terms of distance and hours in terms of time. So our time has to be measured in hours and our distance will be in miles. So if you don't have you know, uh, the common units of measure in this formula, well, you're gonna have to do some con uh, converting and then you can use the formula. All right, so let's go ahead and apply that to this problem. So rate times time is equal to distance. So what is her rate? Three miles per hour, okay? So miles per hour. So we're gonna have to have our time in terms of hour, hours, excuse me, and her time right now is in minutes, okay? Well, it's 45 minutes. So we're gonna have to uh, change this 45 minutes to an hour. I'll show you that in a second. But our distance, if this is in hours, okay, and our rate is in miles per hour, well then all we have to do is convert this to hours and our distance will be in miles. So what we have to do is convert 45 minutes to hours. Now hopefully, uh, pretty much everyone will say, okay, well that's 45 over 60. Uh, which is, of course, three quarters of a mile. But let's just go ahead and do the formal conversion. And that is to multiply by a conversion factor. All right, so there is 60 minutes for every one hour or 60 minutes. Uh, well, let me just kind of write it this way. So we can have one hour over 60 minutes. That's one conversion factor or 60 minutes per one hour, all right, or one hour per 60 minutes. This is what we call a conversion factor in math. Now, both of these are uh, perfectly fine, but we need to use this one, not the other one that I just erased, because we're trying to get rid of minutes and change our time to hours. So here we have minutes in the, den the denominator, excuse me, and over here we have the uh, minutes in the numerator. So we can cross cancel these minutes and we're left with hours. So that's how you know uh, what a conversion factor to use the units you're trying to get rid of have to cross cancel and then you're only left with the units you're trying to go to so we're trying to go from minutes to hours okay so that means we're going to have 45 uh, times one which of course is 45 over 60 all right so we're multiplying two fractions and of course our units of measure will be in, uh, in hours all right so 45 over 60 is 0.75 of an hour so again, feel free to use your calculator, but let's go ahead and now apply this formula to solve the problem. Okay, so what is uh, Ann's rate? Well, it's three miles per hour. Her time is 45 minutes, but we already converted that. So we'll use 0.75 of an hour. And if we multiply these two together, we'll get the distance she covered in 0.75 of, of an hour going three miles per hour. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this right now. So again, we uh, changed 45 minutes to an hour, which is 0.75. So three times 0.75 in our calculators comes out to be 2.25 what? Again, 
that distance will be miles. Okay, so, uh, you know, again, you have different ways you can solve this problem. I think it's important that you understand all three ways. You certainly need to understand this formula right here, rate times time is equal to distance. You definitely need to understand what a proportion is and how to solve proportion problems. And, you know, it's uh, okay to, you know, reason through with some common sense to solve a problem or to maybe double check your answer, right? So if you're like, all right, I got 2.25, but let me go ahead and, you know, solve this problem using another way just to kind of see if this makes sense. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.